Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a cheetah. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a cup, a bowl, or anything else with a circular edge. On the bottom right side, draw a sloping line for the first part of the muzzle. Pay attention to the length and placement of this line in relation to the circle. Connect this line to the circle using shorter lines to complete the guide for the muzzle. The shape of the muzzle should be similar to a square. Draw a long sloping line across the entire head. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features. Inside the head, on the top right side, draw a small circle for the eye. The eye should be small in relation to the head. Inside the muzzle, draw two short lines as guides for the nose. These lines should form a shape similar to a triangle. On the top left side of the head, draw a curved line as a guide for the ear. This guide should be similar to an arc. The ear should be big in relation to the head. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Use the small circle inside the head as a guide to draw the eye. Draw two short lines inside the circle for the shape of the eye. These lines should be similar to a less than sign. Darken the right edge of the initial circle for the eyeball. On the top right side, draw a small triangle for the eyelashes. Draw the corner of the eye on the bottom right side using a couple of short lines. The corner of the eye should point toward the nose. Inside the eye, draw a small circle and shade it in for the pupil. Draw the pupil up against the top edge of the eye. To the left of the pupil, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. Use the small triangle inside the muzzle as a guide to draw the nose. Darken the top edge of the shape using a wavy line. Make the front of the nose curved. Follow the path of the guides as you draw the shape of the nose. On the left side, draw a small curved shape for the nostril. The shape of the nostril should be big. Make the bottom of the nose pointy. Under the nose, lightly sketch a line that curves to the left for the mouth. Extend the line so that it's inside the head circle. Follow the slope of the muzzle as you draw this line. When you get the shape of the mouth right, darken the line. Draw the line using short strokes to create a furry texture. Under the mouth, draw a curved line for the chin. Follow the path of the guide as you draw this line. 
draw the line using short strokes for fur. Darken the top edge of the guide to finish the shape of the muzzle. Use the arc on the top left side as a guide to draw the ear. Darken the shape of the arc and extend the bottom so that it's inside the head. Draw a few curved lines at the bottom to give the ear structure. Draw a series of short strokes within the shape for the fur that's inside the ear. Use the big circle as a guide to draw the rest of the head. Follow the basic path of the circle to create the shape of the head. Make the top of the head flatter than the initial circle. Curve the line close to the eye to create the brow. Draw a curved line along the bottom path of the circle to create the lower edge of the head. Draw short strokes below the ear for fur. On the left side, draw a couple of short horizontal lines for the visible section of the neck. Inside the head, draw two long wavy lines for the distinctive cheetah marking. Sketch lightly at first and when you get the shape right, darken the lines. Extend these lines from the eye to the mouth. The bottom of this shape should be wider than the top. Now go over the final lines with permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. Draw a short curved line on top of the head for the other ear. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Use ink to fill in the tear-like marking. Add black ink to the back of the ear too. Add a bit of ink on the bottom of the nose. Use ink to add the distinctive spots on the head. Don't add spots on the front or bottom areas of the head. Make the spots bigger the farther to the left they are. The spots don't have to be perfect, just draw them as irregular circles. Draw a couple of short lines above the mouth for the bases of the whiskers. Now color your drawing. Use different shades of yellow, brown, and orange to color the fur. Color lightly at first and gradually build up to darker colors. For a light shade of a color, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for a darker shade. Leave the bottom of the head and the area around the eye blank for the white fur. Use brown to create shadows. Shadows will give the head more dimension and volume. Pick a light source as you add the shadows so that they're consistent throughout the head. Here the light source is coming from the top, so most of the shadows will be on the underside of the shapes. Color the eye using different shades of red and brown. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle as you color the eye. Color the nose gray, but leave a thin section blank for a highlight. Slowly and gradually blend all the colors together. Push down slightly harder on your pencils to blend the colors together. 
Add a few shadows on the white sections of the fur using gray. Add the shadows using a series of short strokes to create a furry texture. Using dark brown, add a few strokes throughout the head to emphasize the fur. Coloring can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep coloring until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the cheetah. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.